Hello everyone and welcome to the ACS International School in Cobham and it's the home of the Cobham Cobras as they take on the Reading Rockets in today's WNBL 1 action. The Cobham Cobras newly promoted from Division 2 taking on the Reading Rockets. Good afternoon everyone, John Hobbs on hand here in Cobham in Surrey as the Cobham Cobras will take to the court and the Reading Rockets alongside. Chrissy Karpova, Millie Day, Tracy Adagoki. Amongst the starters alongside Amber Thompson and for Cobham, Katie Richards will jump off alongside Fran Quinn. Kate Lee as Richards on the ball now for the Cobras getting us started first offense of this game and Richards inside scoop layup is no good remember Thompson was going for the rebound and Cobham reset three pointer from the corner off to the right from Freya Bain. And Rockets will get the ball early doors here in the first period in the first day of the WNBL Division One. And Amber Thompson was going to bring the ball up, but one of the uh, basketballs from the other side just made it onto the court before Rockets could get their offense going. So Rockets will reset. Here is Day. Day driving along the baseline at Richards, lays it up and in. Beautifully done from Millie Day. She led JMA in the WEABL over the midweek in their opener against Copleston. Ended up with a loss as Bain goes inside, blows the layup. Lee collects the rebound. Inside Bain again, and she is going to go to the foul line. Freya Bain, another returnee for the Cobham Cobras from their Division Two season. Last time out, 20 and 2 record in WNBL Division Two. They reached the playoff final, almost coming up trumps against the powerful Sheffield Hatters, but coming up short in that, of course, Sheffield Hatters with a wealth of experience. Last time. Making it a hat-trick of WNBL Division II titles, but Cobham pushed them so close. Freya Bain had 11 points on a solid four of nine shooting that day in Manchester. Here is Day driving inside, kicks it out, and Amy Andrews picks up the loose change, and away come Cobham, looking for their first basket. The extra pass, Quinn, a three, that's short, and that came off Richards last, so it'll be a Reading ball. Reading with only seven players today. So a lot of their starting five will play some good minutes as Quinn off the steal and the lay-in. Pass from Amber Thompson going wanting and Cobham get their first score in Division One. Here is Day. Adagoki looking for the screen, instead gets it at the top. Thompson. Back to Amber Thompson. Mia Thompson and Amber Thompson combining here. Shot clock is winding down and Karpova comes up with the loose ball. Thompson, an open three, in and out. As Amber Thompson misses her first three-pointer of the day. Nice play inside from Cobham, and the finish from Kate Lee. Beautiful, quick passing, zipping across the court. And Cobham take an early 4-2 lead with just around two minutes played. Well, nearly three minutes played in the first. Here is Day. Day putting the moves on Richards. 
Wayward pass still finds Mia Thompson. Her shot was blocked, and here is Freya Bain for Cobham. Richards. Three-pointer is up. Three-pointer is rattled in by Fran Quinn, and a timeout called from coach Portero Luque for Reading. He has seen enough. And exactly three minutes played, and Cobham take a 7-2 to two lead. We are here at the ACS International School in Cobham, a venue that was used as Great Britain's training facility for their Eurobasket campaign in 2011. Players such as Luol Deng, Pops Mensah Bonzu, Joel Freeland used this facility back in 2011. One of the elite performance venues here in Cobham and in the country as well. And home of the Cobham Cobras and also the Cobham Scorchers in NBL Division 2. Cobham shooting three of seven from the field so far, 42%. Reading with just the one field goal from four attempts. Reading very short-handed today. Alana Malone still awaiting her clearance to start the season for the Rockets. Safi Jaju is out through injury. And another steal as Millie Day's pass was intercepted. She got the ball back. It's deflected out of bounds. Reading will keep the ball. Of course, Chrissy Karpova, the number seven for Reading, the veteran of this Rockets team. All time WNBL three point marks lady as well. Day. Day driving inside. Tough layup is no good. They'll get the ball back. Adagoki. Here is Thompson. And a travel has been called with the shot clock winding down. Good start this from Cobham. Inside, Richards no, blows the layup, gets her own rebound, misses it. Quinn comes up with it, ball goes out of bounds. As Adela Sawyer, Adela Khan was fighting under the basket with Richards. Still a lot of time on the shot clock. As Amy Andrews prepares to get uh, the offense going as Cobham will make a pair of substitutions here as Moody McCooker and Sophie Califf come in. Kate Lee and Fran Quinn take a seat. Richards on the spin, off the glass. And Cobham racing out to a 9-2 lead after a very slow first two minutes. Thompson nearly travel with it again, but gets her pass out to Mia Thompson. Amber Thompson, or excuse me, that was Millie Day with the floater. That's no good. And here is Amy Andrews. Andrews goes inside to Calaf. Her pass was intercepted by Adagoki, and away comes the Rockets. And the pass asking a bit too much there of Mia Thompson. That ball goes out of bounds. Mia Thompson, who joined Reading in the summer from Angela Ruskin, started five of her 16 games with the team last campaign. Here is Andrews, and a foul on Adela Khan. and that'll be her first foul of the day. The number five for Reading. Rocky start this from Reading, even though they started brightly. Execution 
A little bit of an issue thus far. One for six from the field. Calaf. Shot clock down to seven. Richards looking to drive inside and the ball bobbled around. It will stay a Cobham ball, but with one on the shot clock. Entering the halfway point of the first period here at the ACS International School in Cobham. Where it's open day at the moment as Calaf nearly got the clever cut there to go, but instead it's two on run. Reading have the numbers. Thompson back to Mia Thompson, but the ball bobbled around and Cobham come back with it. Millie Day nearly got the rebound. Calaf comes up with it. Here is Richards. Richards drives. Calaf, the extra pass to Mokaka. Inside it goes to Calaf. Calaf goes glass and gets it to go. It was a tough shot from Sophie Calaf. Who had 13 points, five rebounds in last season's WNBL 2 playoff final against the Hatters. Good defense from Amy Andrews and a hard foul. And Mia Thompson hits the deck. It's a foul on Mia Thompson, so that'll be her first foul. As Amber Thompson prepares to check back in for Adela Sawyer, Adela can. Cobham on a 11-0 run here at the moment. As Colotta Alonso into the game for the first time, a former Reading Rockets player spent last season at Thames Valley. The number 90. And a steal there as Millie Day anticipating where the pass went. And Reading can now set their offense. Karpova, Adagoki, nice link-up play between the two ex-Solent players. And a whistle along the baseline. And that'll be a first foul on Sophie Calaf. As Fran Quinn takes a seat, Amy Andrews, or excuse me, Amy Andrews takes a seat. Fran Quinn comes into the game. Frequent rotations here from Cobham. Certainly have the depth advantage. As there's just a little bit of a delay here. As the referees in the table officials just mulling over something. As Katie Harris checks into the game. And Katie Richards will head to the bench. So Reading can now finally get their offense back up and running. Millie Day, Adagoki, six on the shot clock. Day, look to go for the three, instead drives inside. Probably one pass too many there. She could have gone for the, the shot as Harris comes up with it. Rokoka, Quinn, looking to drive the offense. Harris, the extra pass to Alonso. Alonso with the floater that whacks the glass. And here is Day, being defended by Carlotta Alonso. Nice pass inside to Karpova, the extra pass. Amber Thompson, a three. And that's out. Both teams now a combined one of seven from downtown with 3-10 remaining. Cobham lead 11-2. Quinn, a three from the wing, from the corner, excuse me. Carpona, Carpova picks up the loose change. Adelican, here is Carpova. Day drives inside. Good hands there from Harris. And away come Cobham again. Calaf. Good defense there from Adagoki and a travel call. Great defense from the Reading number 15. As Jade Blackburn checks in for the first time. 
Only appeared in eight games last season, Jay Blackburn. Very solid forward, a good mid-range shot on her as well. Reading really need a score just to break the ice. Cobham on an 11-0 run that stretched over seven minutes here. Karpova, a three, that misses everything. And a little smile on her face, but a bit of frustration at the same time from Christina Karpova. Mia Thompson looks to come back in. Despite having a short rotation, Coach Portero Luque really frequently changing his starting or his five on the floor around as Cobham will keep the ball with 10 on the shot clock. As Mia Thompson comes into the game. And Amber Thompson comes out and doesn't go to the bench, goes straight to the locker room as Safi Jarju, the interim assistant coach for the day, you could say, heads back there as well just to check on her as shot from Quinn was way off and Reading will keep the ball. Both teams now really struggling from the field. Cobham, five of 16 from the floor, Reading only shooting 11%, one of nine. Here is Day. Adelican, here is Day again, and the pass too strong for Blackburn, and Cobham will get the ball back, and already the eighth turnover for Reading in this game. Quinn, daylight inside, lays it up and in. Reading caught napping. Jay Blackburn looked for the desperation swap, but nothing doing. And now it's a 13-0 run and an 11-point lead for Cobham. Adelassan, that's a block from Makoka. And away come Cobham again. Makoka has it again. Alonso, the extra pass. Calaf, beautiful basketball from Cobham. They're accelerating away right now. 117 remaining in the first. Mia Thompson. Blackburn. And that's a foul. Looks to be on Fran Quinn. And it is on Fran Quinn. And that is Quinn's first foul and a chance for Reading to finally get some points on the board, albeit from the foul line. It won't be from the foul line, excuse me. It's baseline possession. And the uh, drought continues as the long two from Mia Thompson didn't find the mark. Billy Day's layup. Still their only score. They have gone now nine minutes without a score, Reading. As inside, Moody Mokoka has the easy two on the second attempt, and it's 17 to two. And another turnover, and Alonso comes up with it. Alonso, the layup goes. It's been all Cobham. And another turnover. That's turnover number 11 for Reading. And Makoka, I think that'll be a jump ball with Adagoki. It will stay a Cobham ball. 25 seconds left in this first period. Calaf inside. Good movement off the ball from Cobham and the foul on Adela Sawyer Adelikan and Cobham will go to the line 19 to 2 up chance to make it a 19 point advantage Sophie Calaf one of the stars on Cobham's 20 and 2 record 
in WNBL Division 2 last season, looking to make a name for herself here in Division 1 this season. Misses both free throws, but De Margalina Alonso gets the rebound. It's a risky pass. I don't think Calaf was expecting it. She gets it back anyway and goes off the glass for good. That's a two-pointer, and it's a 19-point lead. Shot clock is turned off for the Rockets. And another steal. Calaf this time. Calaf travels with it. And that'll do the first period here at the ACS International School and Reading without a score for over nine minutes. Well, just on nine minutes. And Cobham on a 21-0 run have raced out to a 19-point lead after the first period. Fran Quinn leading all scorers, nine points, two steals for her, four of seven from the field. Millie Day, the only Reading player to register a score. They're shooting one for 11 from the floor right now, 11 turnovers in that first period. Cobham have scored eight points from those 11 turnovers and are in full control here in their WNBL one opener. It's a good start to life in division one for Cobham so far. A number of their players got here early this morning, got shots up. A few players were here at least two and a half hours before tip off. Already in their warm up jerseys and getting shots up so Cobham really wanting to make life in Division I work for them. And so far, they have got everything their own way. 21 to 2, they lead the Reading Rockets. A few players from the uh, Cobham Scorchers in the building as well. They'll be playing Richmond in Division Two action following this game. Fantastic community here in Cobham. Love their basketball. Very, very accommodating, very welcoming. It's been great to be here today. So far, the women's team in firm control. 43% from the field thus far. As we await the start of the second quarter, I think there's an issue with the, uh, the sub horn at the moment. I think that's now been rectified. We can now get started for the second period as Blackburn has it. Blackburn muscling her way to the hoop, and she is going to go to the line, I think, for two shots. Yes, she is. And Jade Blackburn now can finally end Reading's cold spell, albeit from the foul line. Last field goal was 9-22. So less than a minute into the game when Millie Day scored and finally Jay Blackburn breaks the duck for Reading, hits them both. So Reading finally get more than two points on the board, but they trail big here. Makoka. Harris. Quinn has it. Alonso wants it in the post. Quinn. Still with the ball, stolen by Day, picked up by Karpova, and Day couldn't get the pass from Karpova. Quinn has it. And Fran Quinn will slow it down. And again, another turnover from Cobham. And a foul called as 
Sophie Calaf just a little too enthusiastic there, trying to get the steal from Mia Thompson. As Amy Andrews and Katie Richards check back in. Was Katie Richards, what a season she had last season with Thames Valley Cavaliers, 9.6 rebounds on average a game. Also an ex Seven Oaks Suns player. Thompson, Blackburn. Blackburn finds a bit of daylight inside, goes for the layup, hits the bottom of the rim, gets her own rebound. Three Cobham players all over her. Thompson a three, money. First three-pointer for Reading in this game. Mia Thompson, wide open from the top. And it's a 5-0 run to start the second for Reading. Andrews, Reading a little more vocal on defense at the moment. Lee inside, good defense from Adagoki. Lee tried to reclaim it and the Jump ball, or well the possession arrow, excuse me, will go the way of the Cobras. Four on the shot clock. And it's a shot clock violation. Cobham not sure. No communication there with their offense. And another stop for Reading. Good spell this from the visitors. Adigoki. Millie Day. Lost the handle, still has it. Karpova, nice pass from Day, the extra pass. Blackburn, she can hit them and she does there. Three pointer, back to back threes. From the Rockets, it's an 11 point game. And an 8 0 start to the second. Alonso to respond short. Makoka comes up with the loose change. Andrews. And another poor pass from Cobham, and Christina Karpova has it. Blackburn driving, going inside, agonizingly off, and she'll go to the line for two. Jay Blackburn, what an introduction to the game she has had since coming on as a substitute. She's almost lifted this Rockets team and has made things a little bit more competitive as she goes back to the foul line. Freya Bain coming back into the game. As Blackburn misses the first. Early doors here in the second period. Jay Blackburn splits the free throws. table officials just going across to where Cobham was shooting, just adjusting the shot clock position. Having a slight technical issue with the shot clock at the moment. 7.25 remaining in the second. It's 21 to 10 to Cobham. A 21 and 0 run for the Cobras as they held Reading scoreless for nearly nine minutes. And Reading have responded with an 8-0 run, an 8-0 start to this second period. Opening day of WNBL Division One action. And of course the Weekend highlighted by Ipswich's involvement in the Super League Basketball Women's Trophy. Now 
They'll be playing the London Lions. And Cobham get us back started. Reading trail by 10. That three-pointer from Bain is way off, but Quinn has it. Here is Richards, great defense from Karpova. And Mia Thompson comes up with the loose ball, and now Mia Thompson can break for Reading, but loses the handle. Karpova slows it down. Thompson finds a bit of room, a three. That's off the back iron and rebounded by Richards. Rebound number six for Katie Richards to go with two points. And Richards couldn't hang on to the ball and away come Reading. It's two on two. The Thompson players combined and the score from Mia Thompson off the feed. And a timeout has been called. A great start to this second period from the Reading Rockets who trailed by 19. And Cobham still yet to get off the mark in this second quarter. They now see their lead go from 19 points down to eight. And a good spell from Coach Portero Luque's side. Six thirty seven remaining in the second period. Here at the ACS International School in Cobham. An eleven zero start to this second quarter for the Reading Rockets. Quinn. Andrews, a corner three, money. Amy Andrews with her first three-pointer of the day. Karpova, Karpova's pass too strong for Amber Thompson. Reading now with their 13th turnover already. And we're not halfway through the second period. Bain finds Quinn. And a block shot from Adagoki on the attempt there from Lee. And away come Reading. Day finds Karpova. Karpova gets it back. Adagoki and Tracy Adagoki was actually out of bounds when she got the ball. Twenty-four to thirteen. Bain a three wide open gets it to go. Two quick three pointers from Cobham, and they're re-establishing their double-digit advantage here as Karpova brings it up, looks for help, finds it in Mia Thompson who drives to the hoop, loses the ball. It was all over the place when she was dribbling with it. And Cobham get the ball back, and another timeout has been called, this time by Reading. Good spell, good response from the newly promoted Cobras team. 5.19 to go in the second, and they lead 27 to 13. Cobham 
who were shooting the ball poorly from outside before their two quick three-pointers. Now 37% from downtown. They've capitalized with 11 points from 15 Rockets turnovers. Turnovers have certainly been the Achilles heel for the visitors in this game. Jade Blackburn has certainly been a strong presence for the Rockets, even though she's now on the bench, a strong presence for the Rockets team since coming on late in the first period. She leads the way for the visitors with six points. Three of those points have come from the foul line. Her other field goal was a three-pointer from the wing. Here is Quinn driving at Karpova, driving to the teeth of the Reading defense, gets the ball back off the miss, is looking for help, and throws it right to the bench. And Reading, even though they're turning the ball over, they've now forced Cobham into 14 turnovers thus far. However, they've only scored off nine of them. Here is Karpova. Day. Amber Thompson. Karpova with the floater off the glass, no good. Shot clock was winding down. It's still going down to two, and that'll be a shot clock. Well, it won't be a shot clock violation. Cobham got the ball back as a three-pointer on the way from Day. Nice release, but was too strong. Here is Richards now, slows it down. Quinn, a three. Doesn't get the fall on the follow, Richards. Ball bobbling around, Redding come up with it, Millie Day has it. 4-10 remaining in the second, Amber Thompson. Driving at Andrews, layup is too strong. Good defense, patient defense there from Amy Andrews. And another turnover, this time Redding come up with it. Scrappy sequence from both teams. Day, looking for help. Karpova can't get it, and Adagoki picks up the loose change. Millie Day has it. Day driving to the hoop, finds Thompson. Mia Thompson, the floater, goes glass, no good as the shot clock was winding down. Mia Thompson got her own rebound. Andrew stolen away by Karpova, but the referee was a late whistle. And the referee blows the foul. It's on Karpova, who can't believe it as she gets back up. <laughs> Karpova saying to the referee, that was not a foul. Referees beg to differ. That's a first foul on Chrissy Karpova as uh, Adela Sawyer Edelikan comes back into the game. Amber Thompson comes away and heads to the bench. Andrews inside it goes to Richards. Richards the hook, that's off to the left. Ball goes out of bounds and frustration on Katie Richards' face. And Redding get the ball back. 3.17 remaining in the second period. Day. Day, the floater, gets it to go. Great composure from Millie Day, the only Rockets player on offense there as her teammates were trailing, but she gets it to go. Andrews, nice pass intended for Calif. She gets the ball back. Nine to shoot for Cobham. Richards out of control. And Adela Can comes up with it. No, it's turned over. And the score from Freya Bain. Who had a great spell in the opening stage of the first period. Sat down for a large majority of the first, though. And another steal from Cobham. It's two on two. Bain comes up with it, banks it home. Great transition basketball from the Cobras. Karpova 
no hesitation, misses the three. Popova goes again from downtown, and this time it's off again. Zero for three from three-point land for Christina Karpova. Kalaf, the other end, goes inside and scores. As Katie Harris and Jay Blackburn check in for the Cobras and the Rockets in just a bit inside Millie Day for her second field goal of this second period. She now moves on to six, three of seven from the field. Calaf the other end, no good. Adelakan was fighting for the rebound. And a whistle has gone. And Reading will get the ball back as Katie Harris checks in for Katie Richards for Cobham. And Jade Blackburn will come in for Christina Karpova. 1.31 remaining Cobham who saw their 19-point lead shrink to eight points, have now re-established a sizable 33-17 advantage. With under 90 seconds remaining in the half. Adelakan, here is Mia Thompson, inside to Blackburn. Anagoki wide open from the corner, and it's rebounded by Harris, ball will go out of bounds. And Coach Portero Luque arguing that that should be a Reading ball. It came off a Cobham player last, just having a chat with the officials. Cobham will keep the ball. 1.06 remaining. In the first half, Cobham, they stuttered a bit to start the second period, recovered. And Karpova with the steal, anticipating exactly what Harris was going to do. Doesn't get a three to four. Millie Day was going for the rebound. And a foul has been called. And Millie Day will go back to the line. Millie Day makes the first few Brent Bulls players in attendance here today as well. As Day misses the second free throw, Jay Blackburn came up with the offensive rebound missed. Coco is fouled by Millie Day, who can't believe the call. And Moody Makoka will come to the line. A few Brent Bulls players, as said, most notably Eleanor Bishop in attendance for this game. As Makoka will head to the line for the Cobras. And this is the first. Cobham up 33 to 17, 106 remaining in the half. Another of the returnees from last season's WNBL Division II team, Moody Makoka. As we enter the final minute of the half, Karpova. Blackburn. Muscles her way inside. Turnaround jumper. Pretty move. Jay Blackburn. She now moves on to eight. First field goal, that's a two-pointer for her. Andrews. And an offensive foul as she goes right into Karpova. Karpova on the floor hard. Gets back up and Redding with a chance to shrink this deficit a bit more. And as Amber Thompson Prepares to come back into the game. Tracy Yedagoki will head to the bench. Karpova. 
Blackburn has it. Nice pass from Blackburn. They couldn't quite hang on. Reading still have it. They don't anymore. The ball goes out of bounds. Amber Thompson was... Her feet were on the line. Another whistle has gone. <laughs> and the game clock has stopped for a little bit. I think actually uh, I think there's actually nine seconds left in the half, actually. So Andrews will get play restarted. Bain. Bain drives, puts it up, no good. And that'll do it, I think, for the first half. Yes, it will. Was stuck on 106 for quite a while there, but either way, Cobham lead the Reading Rockets after the first half of play. And I think we have a connection issue as well on the floor, it's 34-20 at half time, not 33-17, as Fran Quinn has nine points, Sophie Calaf has eight, Millie Day leads the way, or excuse me, Jade Blackburn leads the way with eight points, and Millie Day has seven. It's half time here at the ACS International School. Cobham lead 34-20, we'll be back in roughly 14 minutes time. Welcome back to the ACS International School here in Cobham. We're about to start the third period. Cobham up 34-20. There is a scoreboard <laughs> malfunction, so a temporary scoreboard has been put on by the scorer's table, so we'll keep you updated as to what the score is throughout the majority of this game now as Reading prepare to start the third period down by 14. They trail by as many as 19, got it back down to as little as seven points as they start the third period. Here is Day and the turnover right out the gate as Amy Andrews picks up the loose ball. Bain a three, that's no good. Calaf with the rebound. Here is Richards to Alonso. And Andrews will reset. Calaf. Bain, shot clock winding down. Gets the shot off in time. Amy Andrews from downtown. 17 point lead, 37 to 20. And a turnover, Calaf with the steal. 
and an easy layup unopposed and a quick start from Cobham, their biggest lead of the game at 19, 39-20. Karpova sets herself short with the three. Alonso rebounds, fast start from the hosts. Richards goes inside, the scoop layup is no good. Calaf comes up with the loose ball. Richards has it, the extra pass, Calaf misses the layup. And Cobham will keep the ball with 13 on the shot clock. Early doors here in this third period. There's Carlota de Magalina. Alonso starts the offense up and an easy finish inside from Calaf. Biggest lead of the game for Cobham to start this third period. Thompson has it. Amber Thompson collects. Amber Thompson falls to the floor, keeps her dribble alive. Two Cobham players all over. A shot clock had turned off anyway. Good defense from Cobham. What a start to this third period. And Coach Portero Luque has seen enough. And Cobham, what a start to this third period they have had. 41-20 up as the Rockets, victims of a 5-0 start from the Cobras. Calaf now leads all scorers with 12 points at the moment. 8-21 remaining in this third period. Fran Quinn still has nine. Sophie Calaf so far, 12 points, six rebounds, six of nine from the field thus far. And Cobham's field goal percentage has shot up now to 41% from the floor. Reading's still struggling, just seven field goals all game long right now. Cobham maintaining the pressure as they look to start life in Division One with a win. They were 20 and two last season in WNBL Division Two. Got to the playoff final in Manchester. Amy Andrews, one of those players. Here is Alonso. Calaf, another one of the returnees from last season. She travels with it though at the top of the key. And Reading can breathe a sigh of relief. A risky pass, backcourt violation. Lily Day had not really got hold of the ball, I thought, but uh, referees thought otherwise. Cobham get the ball back. Here is Andrews. Calaf has it. Andrews gets it back. Good defense from Karpova, but the double team leaves Calaf almost virtually wide open. Misses her two inside. As the rebound is taken by Amber Thompson. Karpova wide open. Gets it to go. And the leading three-pointer expert, Christina Karpova, leading three-point scorer, in Division One, gets her three-point account off the mark for the season. Calaf finds Bain. Shot clock is still at 11. And 
Cobham can reset their offense. Here is Bang. Inside to Richards. Shot clock down to eight. Richards, beautiful layup inside. 23 point lead now. Excuse me, it's a 20 point lead now <laughs> for uh, Cobham. And away comes Harris. That's asking too much of her, though, in transition. The pass wayward from Calaf. As Katie Richards just tells her troop to just slow it down. They are up by 20 right now, 43-23. And the ball whacks Katie Richards' feet and goes right out. And outside of the, uh, the entrance doors. Amber Thompson. Amber Thompson gets it back from Mia Thompson on the catch and shoot cup over. No hesitation whatsoever going for that three pointer. Right now though, one of eight from downtown. And the possession arrow will go the way of the Rockets at mid court as Andrews and Karpova were tangled. And Moody Makoka will come back into the game for the Cobras as Amy Andrews heads to the bench. Just under three minutes played here in this third period. Here is Day, Adagoki into the game for the Rockets. Back to Day. Karpova, shot clock down to three. Mia Thompson, got to put up something Reading here and another shot clock violation. No talking on offense from Reading right now and trailing by 20. Makoka. Alonso. Bang. Bain, good defense from Adagoki, and Bain goes to the floor almost in an attempt to have make sure that Adagoki didn't get the ball as it goes out of bounds, and Cobham will retain possession. Ten on the shot clock. Coca. And Bain will slow it down. Shot clock is winding down, though. They've got to put up something. And another shot clock violation, this time to Cobham. Bain lands awkwardly on her right ankle. And Coach Dowding just coming over just to check to make sure that uh, Freya Bain is okay. One of five now from downtown for Freya Bain, but the bigger issue is her right ankle. Can't put pressure on it and Dowding picks her up, puts her onto the bench and hopefully she'll be okay, Fran Quinn will come back in. That's a worrying sight for Cobham. And play will reset momentarily. And the referee's telling Cobham to get their team huddle out the way. They want to restart this game. Karpova has it. Bit of pressure defense from Cobham, and it worked. A turnover for Reading, and it's Cobham ball. Here is Alonzo. First season with the Cobras, a former Reading player. Here she is again. And 
a blocking foul has been called on Edla Sawyer at Leatherkan. Excuse me, on Tracy Adagoki, mind you, excuse me. That'll be Adagoki's second foul of this game. Richards, no hesitation, puts in a mid-range jumper. Forty-five twenty-three. Day. Adagoki. Karpova. Redding passing it around the perimeter well. Shot clock down to six. Day driving at the heart of Cobham's defense. And that ball goes out of bounds. It hits Mia Thompson last, and Cobham get the ball. Koka driving to the hoop, goes glass, tough move, doesn't get the shot to drop, and the ball goes out of bounds, it will go to the Rockets. Last touched by Sophie Keller. Amber Thompson straight away fouled by Quinn. Very stop-start third period thus far. That's Quinn's third foul in this game. Adagoki had a bit of room. Thompson puts up the three. That's long. Adagoki the offensive rebound. Nice draw. cut to the basket there from Thompson. Ball whacks her on the chest. But Redding will keep the ball. Mia Thompson, two of eight from the field. Thus far, for her five points. She's hit a three-pointer from the top in the second quarter. Amber Thompson looking for options. Day, and Day traveled with it. Turnover number 24 for the Rockets. As we Go beyond the halfway mark here in this third period. Driving inside Andrews. 47 to 23. Thompson, Mia Thompson running into trouble. And a foul has been called. Here is Thompson. Finds Day, Karpova, shot clock winding down. And the ball goes out of bounds. And Reading will keep the ball. Shot clock has been reset to 14. will reset again. Here is Karpova. Mia Thompson driving to the hoop. Blocked. That was by Kate Lee and away come Cobham. Cobham and Richards couldn't hang on to the pass and the ball goes back to the Rockets. And another turnover. And now Cobham will get the ball back.
Third quarter really disorganized. Both teams committing numerous turnovers. However, Cobham have the game firmly in their favor, leading 47 to 23 with around four minutes to go in the third. Andrews doesn't get a three to fall. On the follow, though, as Lee blows the layup. Richards on the follow at the third attempt for Cobham. 49-23. Biggest lead of the game for the Cobras. 26-point lead for them. Harpova. Thompson, no hesitation with the three from the corner. Blackburn back into the game, gets it back, goes glass, no good. Makoka with the rebound. Makoka now can drive. Here is Andrews. Alonso in all kinds of space, but Millie Day comes back to shrink that space. Here is Andrews looking for Makoka inside, finds her, shot clock winding down. Day with the rebound. That's rebound number four for Millie Day. Seven points for her. Karpova. Blackburn for three. She goes glass and rattles one in. Second three for Jade Blackburn. Offense was a little stagnant for the Rockets, so Jade Blackburn just let it go. 49-24. Andrews going inside and a foul. Amy Andrews now moves on to 10, four of five from the field for her today. Throw in two steals and two assists as well for good measure. And Andrews makes no mistake with her first free throw of the day, 52-26 now in favor of the Cobham Cobras. And there'll be a foot violation as Millie Day was looking to pass it to Blackburn. It came off Katie Richards's foot. Blackburn, Karpova, Blackburn needs no introduction from downtown. She's hit two already, but misses that attempt. That's Jay Blackburn's first miss from three-point land today. Alonso with three, that misses everything. Here is Karpova. Karpova dancing inside, and Christina Karpova will head to the foul line. Christina Karpova, first time to the stripe today a former Solent Kestrels guard actually still lives around the Southampton area has a PE teaching job on the south coast second season now excuse me third season now with the Rockets makes them both a native of Estonia and she now moves on to five points Koka. Alonso drives inside. The floater is good and a foul. 
Jade Blackburn protests her innocence, has her hands up, but referee saw an infraction. And Carlotto de Magalina Alonso with her first score of this game against her former club. Spent last season with the Thames Valley Cavaliers, mainly came off the bench for the Cavs. Started just one game last season and she will complete the three point play as Andrews heads to the bench and Kate Lee comes in. Karpova. Blackburn driving right at Cobham's defense and another turnover as Adagoki's pass intended for Mia Thompson slips through her hands. Alonso. Alonso gets it back from Harris. Makoka and the turnover there as Blackburn picks up the loose change. Karpova resets. Thompson drives. Blackburn at the top, a three. And it's off to the right. Harris, a three. Nice release on the shot. But Katie Harris doesn't get the fall. Three-pointer on the way is no good from Adelikin. Fifty-five twenty-eight, a twenty-one to eight third period for Cobham. Blackburn thought about the three, instead drives inside, and that layup is too strong. And that ends the third period here at the ACS International School. <laughs> as far as timings go, your guess is as good as I am if you're watching. As we now don't have a scoreboard to look at, but either way, the most important statistic is that Cobham Cobras lead Reading Rockets big right now going into the fourth period. They lead 55 to 28. Sophie Calaf with 12 points on six of 10 shooting. Amy Andrews supporting Abley with 11 on four of five shooting. Jade Blackburn leading the way for the Rockets with 11 points and three rebounds. So it's 55 to 28 heading into the fourth period here at the ACS International School in Cobham. It's the opening weekend of WNBL Division One action. as we get set to start the final 10 minutes here in Cobham. Here is Alonso, Makoka. Alonso again misses the three-point attempt. She had a three-point attempt from there late in the third period that missed as well. Here is Day. Adelakan drives, Blackburn drives to the hoop. Adelakan with six to shoot for Reading. Day, wide open, drives to the baseline, sets her feet, puts in a two. Twenty-eight 
25 point lead here for Cobham. 55 to 30. Alonso, Richards. Harris a three, that misses everything. Lee will collect. Alonso, seven to shoot. Alonso's three is no good. Adagoki collects the loose ball and away comes Day for the Rockets. Day inside, Mia Thompson with the layup. Well, Sophie Calaf will prepare to check in momentarily for the Cobras. Fifty-seven, or excuse me, fifty-five to thirty-two. Harris a three, and Richards collects another offensive rebound. Richards, that's short. Adagoki. Blackburn will reset. Adagoki driving at Richards, the layup, and Tracy Adagoki will go to the line. Tracy Adagoki, a former Solent Kestrels player, will head to the line in just a second. It's a timeout on the floor by Cobham. Leading 55 to 32, early stages of this fourth and final quarter. Reading with a quick 4-0 run to start this fourth period here at the ACS International School in Cobham. Division two men's team, the Cobham Scorchers, will be playing after the women are done here. As they play the Richmond Knights. the opening weekend of WNBL Division One action and on Sunday or throughout the weekend as well in the Men's National League it's Kit King Trophy quarterfinal weekend as their league season starts officially next Saturday Tracy Adagoki will head to the foul line for the Rockets. Currently trading 55 to 32. A little over two minutes played in the fourth. And Adagoki misses the first. Reading six of nine from the charity stripe in this one. And Adagoki misses them both. Ball goes out of bounds and it will stay a Reading possession as Fran Quinn will look to come back into the game as Colotta Alonso will head to the bench for Cobham. Adagoki. Day inside. Good off ball movement from Reading. Nice finish from Millie Day. 55 to 34. Quinn has it. Quinn drives along the baseline. Lovely footwork, Fran Quinn. Adagoki. Thought about the three, instead passes off to Day, drives inside, Blackburn. Hit a couple of threes in this game, six to shoot for Reading. Mia Thompson finds Adagoki, they've got to put something up. Adagoki, a two off the glass. Mia 
Beautiful composure from Tracy Adagoki looking to get to her spot. And goes glass for her too. Makoka. Harris inside to Calaf. It's a wild pass, but it finds a teammate. Harris, a three. That's actually a two. She stepped on the line. Off the feet from Quinn. Fifty-nine-thirty-six. Blackburn nearly ran out of room and Quinn has it. There's Calaf a bit all over the place, gets the ball back, turnover from Day. Lee goes inside over at a Goki, no good. Shot clock at nine, Quinn has it. Five to shoot, Cobb got to get busy here. Makoka goes glass. Makoka now with five points. She's actually struggling from the field as Jade Blackburn is still on the floor. Just being comforted by a former teammate in Alonso. Jay Blackburn in a bit of discomfort. And now she's being helped off. This is not good for Reading. They're already struggling with injuries to start this new season. And Jade Blackburn now, who's had a fantastic game for the Rockets. 11 points, four rebounds and a steal on three of eight shooting. Really lifted the Rockets when they were struggling. They were down 21 to two to start the game. And her introduction off the bench really helped, but this is not good for her or the Rockets. And coach Patero Luque, you can see with a bit of frustration on his face. Rockets already struggling for players to start this new season. Bit of an unknown quantity coming into the new 24-25 uh, season, Reading. Not much news coming out on any signings or anything. It's been very hush-hush, very quiet. There's been a lot of work, though, going on behind the scenes. The Johnson family doing everything in their power to make sure Reading have a good, solid women's team for this season, as Day has it. Adelican driving to the hoop, the extra pass. Mia Thompson, a three, money. <laughs> 61 to 39 in favor of Cobham. Here is Andrews. Going to the halfway point of the fourth quarter. Cobham up big. Lee inside. Andrews finds herself in a bit of room. That's short with her corner three-pointer. Here is Day. Adagoki. Adelican passed it. Nice pass to Adagoki with the off-ball movement. And Calaf distracted her just enough for the turnover. Here is Lee. Quinn has it. Cobham now with time on their side. Up big, Calaf blocked by Day. And the ball will stay with Cobham with seven on the shot clock. As Amber Thompson checks back in and Millie Day will head to the bench. It's been a tough day for, for Millie Day. 11 points, five of nine shooting, four rebounds, three assists, and five steals. That's a great stat stuffer, but 12 turnovers for her today as Andrews misses the two from the foul line. And a whistle has gone. Amber Thompson. And another whistle has gone in 
Well, it's becoming a very f overly physical spell in this fourth period as we are beyond the halfway point. Reading have actually outscored Cobham 11 to 6 in the fourth as Cobham call a timeout with 4.28 remaining in the final quarter. Well, Reading got the first score of the game, but then Cobham stormed out of the blocks on a 21-0 run to lead 21-2 after the first quarter. Reading found their groove again in the early stages of the second period, went on an 11-0 run to trim that lead to eight points. They got it down to as little as seven at one point, but Cobham have upped it again and uh, accelerated away from the rough from the rockets a 21 to 8 third quarter has really you've got to say done the damage and cobham well on their way to starting life in division one with a win here today against a short-handed but still very experienced reading rockets team Karpova looking for Mia Thompson. It goes right into Cobham's hands. Here's Makoka, Andrews, Lee. You can feel that Cobham are just relaxing a little bit now as Quinn misses the three. And Cobham in no rush right now as Andrews has it. Picks up the long rebound. Here she is again on the ball. Adagoki Markina. Lee going inside at the second attempt. Doesn't get it the fall. Quinn with an almost set, set shot misses the two and a smile on her face as a whistle goes. So it looks like a good start to Division One for Coach Dowding and his Cobham Cobras team. Leading 61-39 right now. And another turnover for the Rockets. Turnover number 31 as Andrews will head to the line. Great game for Amy Andrews in this one. Four of seven from the field. Two steals, two assists, two rebounds. And has done the intangibles as well. The stuff that you don't usually see on the stat sheet. One that every coach loves and that's the added hustle the leadership communication amy andrews has personified that today as she heads to the foul line misses the first that's her first miss from the charity stripe in this one andrews rattles in the second 62 39 Karpova, catch and shoot three. That's long, and it's rebounded by Quinn. Four rebounds now for Fran Quinn. Cobham out rebounding Reading 54 to 32. Andrews, cross court pass it goes. Quinn, acres of room. Fran Quinn misses the three. Quinn, though, gets it back. As Reading caught ball watching and on the follow was Calaf. Sixty-four thirty-nine. And substitutions will come in as Katie Richards comes in for Kate Lee. Millie 
Day comes back in as well for the Rockets. Here is Karpova and Agoki. Amber Thompson. Shot clock at seven. Two pointer is up and is no good from Adelaerkin. And Andrews will slow it down as time starts to wind down on the first game of the WNBL Division One season. Thames Valley Cavaliers, Loughborough Riders. Tip off later today alongside the Worcester Wolves and the Manchester Mystics. Tough day at the office though to start the new season for the Rockets. Thompson. Amber Thompson looking for help and be a foul called and I believe that's on Makoka that will be her fourth foul as Amber Thompson heads to the foul line for the Rockets makes the first as Reading hit the 40 point mark in this game Almost academic, really, at this point, as Cobham well on their way to getting their first win of the season. Andrews, Quinn, a three. That would have been the icing on the cake, wouldn't it, as the ball goes out of bounds. Cobham will keep the ball as we enter the final 90 seconds of this game, at least that's what the live stats are saying. And the pass from Makoka finds no one but Karpova as Amber Thompson has it. Adeliakin, here is Adagoki, step back three, that's long. And Richards, collects the rebound and takes the ball away from Millie Day who was going for the steal. Andrews slowing it down. Got to give it to Reading though, very short-handed today, only seven players on their roster. Really hampered by injuries, but they have fought, they have competed, you can't argue that. And no doubt, when they get back to full strength, they will be a force to be reckoned with in Division One. But today has not been their day against a near full strength Cobham Cobra side. Really desperate to get life in Division One off to a good start. They have certainly done that today. Here is Quinn. Inside, Quinn gets it back, corner three, money, that'll do. Fran Quinn. Well, she's gonna be concerned as well for Reading and Jay Blackburn, who had a great game today, but has gone down with injury as Amber Thompson strings a three. But that'll do. Cobham start off life in Division One with a win, 67 to 44. They have won today. A great showing from them. They led for all bar 40 seconds of this game today against a shorthanded Reading Rockets team. And a solid victory for them in front of a good crowd here at the ACS International School in Cobham. Yeah, 
We just await the confirmation of the result and scorers for today. 66 to 44. Cobham Cobras have defeated the Reading Rockets today. Sophie Calaf with 14 points, 11 rebounds on 7 for 12 shooting. Fran Quinn adding 13 points, 5 steals for her. Reading led by Millie Day and Jade Blackburn both had 11 points. Leah Thompson had 10, but Reading hampered by 31 turnovers, 29% from the field. And Cobham Cobras start life in Division One with a victory. They have won 66 to 44. I've been John Hobbs. Have a pleasant afternoon, pleasant evening, wherever you are. Take care.